Hi, I am Tomita in Japan. My presentation title is What All Teachers Should Know About Astronomy Education in Primary and Lower Secondary Education. Uh, this pre presentation is based on the preliminary result of the interview with the teachers. First, I'm presenting the background of the presentation. Here is an example from Japan, but I believe this is the same for many other countries. Astronomy is a popular among all ages. This presentation especially focuses on the issues in the primary and lower secondary schools. Students are crazy about black holes, extraterrestrial intelligence, space missions, and many others. The social capital for astronomy education is abundant. In Japan, more than 350 planetariums are open to the public. Uh, in all areas, including rural areas, more than 200,000 projections are made a year, and more than 8 million people visit there. A year. However, when it comes to school science classes, both the students and the teachers are not, not good at the content. Science textbooks of primary and lower secondary schools don't directly deal with the black holes and aliens. That may be a sad thing for students, but classical and difficult uh, astronomical contents such as the motion of the sun and the phase of the moon are important from an educational point of view. So we can't just drop it and talk about aliens. Such classical contents are not easy also for the teachers. So except for a few teachers who are good at astronomy, many teachers have a hard time teaching astronomy. This presentation is to summarize from a teacher's point of view, not a student's point of view. For teachers who love astronomy, uh, the environment of many interested students and many easily accessible advanced resources for astronomy education is a happy thing. But many ordinary teachers, especially those who are not good at astronomy, say this. I don't actually have a good understanding of what I want to understand as a teacher. I know that many students are interested in astronomy but um, as a teacher, shamefully, I can't keep up with their interests and enthusiasm well enough. We astronomy educators and astronomy researchers would say, why don't you just ask someone who is good at it or study to yourself? Hmm. The teacher would say, as a teacher, I can't say it so easily. Even if I could do, I'm too embarrassed to ask other teachers who are good at astronomy and experts in astronomy education. This is probably the reason why there is still a large gap between a few teachers who are good at astronomy and many who are not. So the first research question was said like this, what do teachers who are not good at astronomy have travel with in their classes. The method is like this. First, build relationships with the teachers and then proceed with the interview. It may be valuable as a status report, but it should not be summarized in a way that, that does not lead to class level improvement. For example, the teachers don't even understand this or a classroom is full of a misunderstanding and confusion. Uh, however, such high-handed research papers can be found in many places. I think that such papers and reports have increased the division between teachers who, are, who love astronomy education and those who hate astronomy education. So building the relationship is very important. Today, my presentation is the first result of the interview. Then collaborating on actual classroom planning based on this research. If we just list the problems, it has already been done in many research publications. If this is all we do, it will be the 
reinventing the wheel. This is our future work. I will present from here some preliminary findings. Uh, these are some feedbacks from preliminary interviews. The first is the difficulty in direction and location. The feedback from a teacher is like this. The student needs to think about the direction, time, position of the sun, and the phase of the moon at the same time. But these topics are not rooted in students' daily lives. Mm. Some researches have shown that thinking about the positional relationship is linked to ability in mathematics rather than science. It is also connected to map-based learning and social studies. For teachers, especially of primary school, a curriculum design for the comprehensive study of orientation, location, shape, and visibility can be attractive. Cross-curricular teaching and STEAM education are now very popular among science education as well as astronomy education. Not only math, technology, but astronomy education can also be linked to history, geography, literature, art, craft, music, health education, moral education, and international understanding education. This is obvious to all the participants here today. However, Teachers who do not, don't like astronomy education are still not fully aware of this great uh, possibility. The next is the issue that experimentation can lead to misunderstanding. These are the feedback from the teachers. The textbook says the phase of the moon changes because the positions of the moon and the sun change. However, many students think that this is due to the change in the positions of the moon and the earth from the experiment with the ball and light. And I don't fully understand this. When I tried to show a quarter moon and a crescent moon in the experiment using a ball and light, I moved at the position of the light which made students think that the position of the sun also moved. Hmm. This is a great opportunity. Rather than being pessimistic about getting a wrong concepts and a confusion, here is, the, is an issue that needs to be carefully researched. What the student looked at, what the student thought, what the student concluded, what the students were confusing about, and what the students came up with rather than it was correct or not. We should encourage students' way of thinking. We can make a new class plan based on the above investigation. The last example is also great. In a classroom that nurtures the thinking ability, thanks to the classroom teacher's great PCK, students are going to the next step to explore further. The teacher said to me, as the student's understanding of the moon phase increases, a new question arises. Why does the moon move like that? This is a question that is not related to the textbook description. How should I, re how should I respond to such a question? This is an episode of the great power of the student. Of course, we can't answer such kind of why clearly, but how wonderful it is that the students are so inspired. The teacher was very confused. First, researchers in astronomy education can appreciate the teacher's high level classwork. How to respond to students' high curiosity is not easy, of course. Not just giving them knowledge, but creating a new exciting environment based on the students and class atmosphere is a new is a new issue for joint research between researchers and the teachers. The presentation, uh, the presentation is the first result of some interviews. So please wait for some time to show the result of the whole research. Instead of that, here, I would like to call on all the participants of the show IOU workshop. Let's exchange and discuss together about the difficulties 
the teachers face in class, school classes and how they motivate students, how they create a cheerful class and how they bring out students' thinking ability. For teachers who are not good at astronomy, let's not just dump knowledge and provide physical uh, materials, but also share ideas. What will make the teacher feel positively? What? This is the kind of classroom creation I'm very good at. Wow. This is the kind of classroom creation I can do from now. I and my colleagues are preparing a project called New Astronomy Day in Schools as a platform for this. When I recorded this video, it is before the release of the website. But I believe that many of you would visit the site at the time of this workshop. Share your classroom practices. Let's make a creative class also with the teachers who are not good at astronomy. Please reach out to as many teachers as possible. Thank you for your attention to my presentation.